This piece will be for an issue about heroes. Do you consider yourself a hero? Tom Juno wrote one of the most beautiful articles you could read for Esquire magazine about Mr. Rogers. At the time, I was really going to the dark side on stories, and somebody at the magazine thought it would be really kind of funny having me doing a story on Fred Rogers. 400 words, play nice. I'm profiling Mr. Rogers. Oh, God, Lloyd, please, don't ruin my childhood. Tom was going through anything that a man goes through, you know, family and health and career, but became face up against Fred Rogers, who had a mission to engender understanding and kindness. You said it was a play at the plate. Is that what happened to you? I'm here to interview you, Mr. Rogers. Well, that is what we're doing, isn't it? His ability for empathy was enormous. What he could do immediately to any kind of problem, any human condition, was relate to it. You love people like me. What are people like you? Broken people. I don't think you were broken. I thought that I was the hunter, he was the game. The amazing thing about it, of course, was <laughs> Fred wasn't having any of that. He had that amazing gift of looking at a person and seeing what that person needed. And that person in this particular case was me. Sometimes we have to ask for help, and that's okay. It ended up changing his life. It wasn't that Fred taught him to not go after things with journalistic integrity. It was that he taught him to see the world through a slightly kinder lens, and you see it in his writing from then on. Thank you for doing that with me. I feel so much better. 